Welcome to the InfoHow Campus Blue Cloud Pathway Mobile Staff class for library staff. This short video will cover holds. With mobile staff, managing holds is easy. For mobile staff hold options to work, your library should be set up for placing holds and workflows. First, let's look at the on shelf holds pull list. The holds pull list provides a list of on shelf items that need to be pulled to fulfill a hold. The list can be filtered by library, current location, and item type by using the corresponding drop-down menus. Once you have generated your list, tap or click the triangle to the right of the hold. Choose from options such as Trap Hold, Delete Request, Mark Missing, or click OK. Another holds management option is Holds by User. With Holds by User, you can view, modify, and remove holds associated with a user account. Enter or scan a user ID, student ID, or use the user search option to locate a user to view and edit their holds. Select a hold and display hold information. Modify allows you to modify the pickup library, an expiration date, and or add a comment. Remove allows you to remove the hold, and cancel allows you to not make any changes and return to the previous screen. Lastly, the Hold Shelf option is used to view and process holds currently on the Hold Shelf. You can modify available holds and determine next steps if needed. Choose from any or all of the statuses Active, Cancelled, Expired, and Suspended. Select a hold and click Actions. Further actions consist of marking the item missing, modifying the hold, processing the hold as inactive, removing it, viewing it, refreshing the screen, and canceling. For more details on holds, please see the holds lesson in the mobile staff course found within the Blue Cloud Pathway. If you have any questions about holds or how to get holds set up for your library, please contact your InfoHow provider.